Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. I have but three simple things with me. An anvil, a chest, some boots. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with the latest Minecraft 1.9 snapshots, hopefully by watching my videos you'd know I'm <laughs> sorry. That <laughs> there's a new enchantment known as Frostwalker. Now there's a really cool thing you can do with Frostwalker. And boots, of course. You can combine them on an anvil and get yourself Frostwalker boots, which uh, is made by doing that and not the other way. <laughs> and upon wearing those, it will turn water around you into ice that will slowly but surely melt over time. But I saw an interesting use of the Frostwalker mechanics that could be used in a way for map makers to hide hidden messages within the water. And it's really quite simple. But it's going to be hard to demonstrate under these circumstances. But what we have right above us is our little friend. That's going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to show you how you're going to set this up right now. It's quite simple. First of all, creative mode. It's a creative mode thing. You're not going to be able to do this in survival mode. You technically could, and I'll explain how after, but it would be very unreasonable and kind of really be pointless. This is for map makers. So that said, switch over to game mode one. Now you're going to want to grab yourself a very special type of Frostwalker boots. Now, I have something up here called the Truth Finders. Right, right. And uh, they're set up with a Frostwalker enchantment of 18. So upon wearing these, as you can see, it's a little bit bigger compared to before, right? But this ice is just melting too fast. So we're just also going to switch it over to time set 18,000, which is, you know, kind of the middle of the night. And uh, once that all goes away, you'll see momentarily the ice will last just a little bit longer. I'm going to take these boots off for the time being and show you the final step. You've got the boots. You don't technically need these. I just, I'm sure I got the great enchanted boots to have a bigger working area. You know what I mean? Okay, great. So, the way you hide messages is you just spell them out with blocks. Block at a time in letters. And the command that you're going to use to do that is very simple. It is right here. It's also in the description of this video. You're going to summon an invisible armor stand that does not have any gravity wherever you want a letter to be placed. So we're going to spell out a very simple hi, H-I. So we're spelling out the letter right now, and you can try and, you know, stay with me, I guess. Now, cool thing is you don't have to enter this command over and over again. You can just press to open up your text or whatever, press up, and then it'll give you the most recent command. That's a cool little thing. You know, it's pretty crazy. So, we're, we, we're about to finish up the H. Right. Right. Now, there are, I mean, there's pretty weak, weak sauce downside to this. First of all, not only will this work. Well, let me explain the downside once I show you. We've now made our message. It's simple. It's just hot. So, now we're going to wear these boots. And you're going to see. Hi. <laughs> you can spell out secret messages. It's uh, it's actually really simple. Now the way it works is uh, the ice frost walker random ice thingy effect won't work where there is entities. And since there is an invisible armor stand right here, it's not spawning in ice right there. Now again, the downside I wanted to remind you of is the fact that not only is ice not going to spawn there, but just in general. You won't be able to place. See, I'm trying to place blocks. You won't be able to place blocks at that location. So that is something that you need to just kind of know going into it. Great for hiding messages. Pretty much, pretty much only. See, I can't put it right there. Pretty much only useful for hiding messages. So it's just something to be aware of. You know, the more you know, that sort of thing. But you can go pretty, you can go pretty dangerous with it. Alternatively, you can grab the coordinates of where you want this block to be placed, and we'll do that right now, so you can kind of get an idea. This stone block, will you see? See how it's just looking at, blah, 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 right here, the minus seventeen fifty four four, ten forty nine. Well, you can keep that number written down, which I'm gonna do. Actually, we're gonna make this a lot more simple. You ready for this? It's gonna be crazy. We're going to teleport to zero, zero in this world, basically. Just to make it simpler for the video, you would need to kind of have an understanding of where the blocks are going to be in your world. But since this is just a super flat world of nothing but water, it's going to be a little easier. So now instead of just spelling out by going where, 
where you want the letters to be. You can just change up this command a little bit. Instead of having relative coordinates, you can just give it proper coordinates. For example, we want to place something at 0, 4, 0. And we're going to place an armor stand right there. And we're also going to place one at 1, 4, 0. And then we're going to place one at 2, 4, 0. And you're going to see that the line is slowly beginning to form. I'm going to place a block down here so that I can sit, stand, and then look. You'll see that is the line we formed. That is 2, 1, and 0, 0. So now that we have a base idea of what is going on here, I am going to take that a step further. And now we're going to change both. So we want to go back down 1. We're going to change this to 1. Right, that's good. Now I need to see what direction that's coming from, just very quickly. You can you can determine this in much easier ways, but you know, it's not a big deal. So we're just gonna flip around this direction now, and everything's gonna be hunky dory. So we'll now go over and switch this back. We'll keep that at one. We're gonna keep this at three, and then we're gonna switch this back over to zero, and then one. And we'll have the H by doing that. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. And then now we're going to switch over to give itself a space. We're going two to the right. We're going to do the one. Keep the one there. We're going to do two. We're going to do zero. Now, if I've done this properly, and I probably have not, we'll have spelled out high. Let's see. <laughs> yep, I didn't do it right. But you... Oh, I'm a failure. I think what I turned around or whatever... It, it messed up my orientation. But point being, super cool way of hiding messages. Map makers, take note. You can send your players on a wild goose chase, give them some truth finders with some crazy level of, you know, whatever it might be, Frostwalker enchantment, and set them loose in the ocean to try and find some awesome hints. Now for the super prideful and detailed out there, you can go even a step further and maximize the amount of of immersiveness you can have with your message by actually just writing it out with a block first and then slightly changing the command you use. In this case, we are one full block above water. So instead of having it relative to positive one from where you are, switch that to negative two. If you're doing this whilst you're right at water level, then you would change it to negative one instead. And then once you do that, just go ahead and continue to spell out the letters. While doing this, make sure you're in the, not even just with this method, any of these methods, make sure you're as close as to the middle of the block as possible. Otherwise, the armor stands that are being summoned in can, in theory, overlap into other blocks and that can sometimes mess up the overall message and then once you've done that you just go back into creative mode i mean if you want you could do it in survival mode and just delete all your marker blocks and you'll be left with your hidden message oh and i gotta say it is been an honor creating this hidden message and i can't wait to show you so we're gonna break all these blocks, it's simple enough, we're literally just gonna, boom. You're just gonna take care of it like this, baby. And it's all just gonna come together quite nicely. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It takes a little bit because the armor stands are kind of getting in the way, really. They do get in the way a little bit. I'm trying not to show you my message. So uh, I'm gonna just break these real quick. Guys, if you decide to use this, tell me what message you're gonna hide and how you're gonna do it. Any map makers out there, please use something like this. Send your adventurers on a quest through the ocean to find the hidden meaning of life or, or, or something like that. I don't know. And uh, let me know what you think. If you want to see more tip videos like this on the channel, or just fun little trivia-like videos where you can learn something, let me know by dropping a like rating on the video. Much appreciated, guys. Thanks so much for subscribing so that you can see my videos right as they come out. And with that, I will leave you with one final block that we're gonna step on right here to activate our baby and reveal this final message. Oh, it's gonna be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.